Hi, this is Julie at Love's Beginning with a message called Here's the Light of the World. Ego sends thoughts about organizing, controlling, and limiting your experience. Ego tells you that it can make everything neat, that it will build borders and boundaries that will protect you. You can see reflections of these thoughts believed projected out into a world. Every egoic thought contains the kernel of dedication to death. You can feel this as a tension or a resistance. It is resistance to life itself. Where you feel this tension and resistance, you may still be afraid to let it go because you are accustomed to this idea of the tension and the resistance protecting you. This is okay. You are safe, loved, and held, even and especially in the midst of your attachment to resistance to love. From here, from this place of being curled in upon one's perceived self, from this place of trying to keep one's separate self safe, you can find one thought. You can hold that thought up to the light. You can let it go. You can find your willingness to be guided, to be shown, to see things in an entirely new way. Rigidities can melt as you allow the thought structures to be exposed as you abandon trying to hold them together, as if doing so would hold your separate self together. When you allow the concept of your separate self to fall apart, you allow the concept of the separate other to fall apart. The whole idea of attack depends upon perceiving a separate self and a separate other as real. As you allow the idea of attack to fall apart, the idea of protecting your separate self falls apart. It loses meaning and value. You can feel the density of separate self-protectiveness in each egoic thought. Thought causes experience. Thought causes what you perceive and how you perceive it. Ego says self-protection is a shield deflecting harm and death, and it tells you that you are the body. Spirit shows you how separate self-protectiveness is a shield against love and helps you remember that you have never been separate from anything. It is for you to see the light of the world everywhere you look. If you find yourself seeing anything other than the light of the world, remember that you have an opportunity. I am seeing not light because I wanted it. I can change my decision. You have been using the light, the sight of not light to hold your separate self and therefore the separate self of all those you call other in place. Once you wake up to how you are using thought, you can change your intention. You can find your willingness to see the light of the world everywhere. Underneath the fear blanket I have thrown over you, here is the light of the world. I am ready to see it. We see your light because it is our own, and we rejoice eternally in the light as one. Thanks for listening.